Hello, fourth graders. I'm so excited. I have a chance to get you some videos so you can keep thinking about science while we are all staying at home. Um, if you look in the background, you can probably see some of our critters. They're all at home with me in my office so that I can keep an eye on them. They're all doing really well. They're all growing really crazy, um, especially Bubba and um, our big fish, Romeo. So they're doing well. I hope you're all doing well as well. Um, I'm going to get us started today thinking about maps. Um, we're starting a new unit. Um, we had finished up our last one just before spring break. So now we're going to be starting a new one. And um, I want you to turn to pages 52 and 53 in your textbook. If you need to pause this video and then get your books, that would be fine. Make sure you have a pencil or a pen or something to write with because um, we're going to be filling in some of the stuff from this uh, section of our book. So if you turn to page 52 in your book, you're going to see there's a map of San Francisco. And this page is going to, these two pages are going to talk about different types of maps that we use a lot, just, just depending on what we are looking for. So for example, this first map that you see in this picture right here is what we call a street map. And it says to use a marker to trace the most direct route to go from Daly City to the bridge that crosses the San Francisco Bay. So I want you to look at the words that are written on the map. Um, this shows San Francisco Bay right here, and Daly City is right here. So you're going to use your marker, your crayon, pen, pencil, whatever you've got to work with. And I want you to draw that mark, that route, that would get you there the easiest, the quickest. Um, a lot of times when we are driving around Omaha and we're not sure where to go, We'll get on um, Google Maps, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But it helps us figure out where we're going. So if you wanted to go, let's say, to a friend's house, you could look that up, and it would show you the best directions to get to your friend's house. So go ahead and take a moment to do that. Again, you can pause this video anytime you need to, and then start it up again so that you can continue. So the next type of map that we're going to talk about is a topographic map. And I'm going to go ahead and read what it says. It says, this map shows the land surface of San Francisco using contour lines. Contour lines that are closer together show steeper land, and contour lines that are farther apart show flatter land. So what they're talking about is if you look in this section here, you can see that these contour lines are really close together. So that means it's higher ground. And then if we get out here, the ground, the land is flatter. So this would show us that either there's some hills. Um, if we were looking at a map that had these lines, um, it could show us that there's a mountain there. But it shows us what the land is like. This is important um, in thinking about weather and thinking about um, if we're traveling, different types of things, um, we would use something like this so that we know what the land is like. It also would show us in some areas how high something is relevant uh, to the ocean. So when we talk about land, a lot of times you'll hear the word words that uh, an area of land is above sea level. This might, in some maps, have numbers that would tell you how much higher than sea level it is. So our directions for this part are to circle one of the highest points in San Francisco. And then it wants you to answer, is San Francisco flat or hilly? And how do you know? So again, go ahead and pause the video for a moment. You can read through this again and then answer the question on these lines below. The next section is talking about what we call a local attractions map. 
So this would be something that is probably going to be like in a brochure um, if you go somewhere to help you see where you can find places that you might want to go to. So, for example, if you go to the Henry Dorley Zoo, they have a map like this, and it's going to have pictures, and it's going to have words to tell you where you can find the elephants, or where would the tigers be, or perhaps where are the restrooms. Um, it's going to show you things that you would be interested in, so that you're not just walking around trying to figure out where things are. So... The question that it wants you to complete on this is, what types of attractions are there to see in San Francisco? So you're going to look at the map again and see what pictures it shows of attractions that you can visit in San Francisco. So again, you can pause this video, take a moment, fill out that information right in here. And as always, I'm not worried about the spelling, just do the best you can. I just want you thinking about what things that we are noticing on the local attractions map. So that's all we're going to do for this lesson. In our next lesson, we're going to talk more about the Google Maps so that we can do a little bit more of our own research and see what we can find in Omaha or um, perhaps another place that you have visited or you're even thinking about visiting. So. Go ahead and get this done for today, and then um, look for my next video. I will be talking to you guys again. Bye.